Hey, what's up everybody? Gary Simon here. So today we're going to be doing another episode of the UI UX workshop where I attempt to improve three different user submitted designs that submitted on behalf of Discord. And I'm going to try to do everything I can do to uh, make improvements to either the UI and or the UX of these designs. So let's check out real quickly the original designs that were submitted. So the first one here is from user, I don't know because I forgot to save it, I'm very unprofessional. Um, we can see it's basically a coffee shop. I'm really proud of this um, revamp that I did here, as you'll see. Um, and then the next one we have from user Malvika or Malvika or something like that, basically a personal portfolio. Um, and this is the contact section I'm going to drastically improve this area. And then finally, we have this one from user Balija KC or something like that. And basically, we're not gonna be making significant improvements to this because it's pretty good already, but we will be changing the type and the alignment a little bit. All right, so as always, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and let's get started. Before we begin, this video is sponsored by Linode. Now, as a front-end developer or a designer, you know that you need a personal portfolio. And if you use a website builder like Wix or Squarespace, they lack total customization and they lock you into using their platform. But to be a pro, you need to use the tools that the pros actually use. So level up, start building your own projects and your own portfolio on an enterprise level content management system like WordPress or Drupal. Now, real web development sometimes requires knowledge of spinning up servers, managing domain names, and setting up an occasional staging environment. And there's no better or simpler way to learn the ins and outs of hosting your website than with Linode Cloud Hosting. Linode Cloud Hosting makes it as easy as possible for you to deploy a WordPress or Drupal website in seconds with a free Linode one-click app marketplace. So click on the very top link here in the YouTube description to get your free Linode account along with $20 of free hosting and all the tools that you need to build enterprise class websites. All right, so this is a layout for Union Coffee, which is a specialty coffee brewery, essentially. So we'll see what we can do to improve this. All right, so here I'm using the same background photograph and largely specifying the same header with the logo and the three item navigation that's right aligned to the top. And then I decided I want a bit more of a dynamic layout that included more content above the fold. So I'm positioning the photograph in its own column to the right. And I also wanted to ensure the navigation is easy to read. So I placed a black background container behind the type. Now, instead of a white background, I opt to use the background color that's found in the original design's layout. And also, instead of just specifying the name of the business as the original design had as the primary headline, I'm taking a few words from the description and emphasizing that instead. Now, next up, their about a section lacked a lot of white space, so I'm resituating that and improving that area as well. Also, just to give a layout more character, you can add these watermark based block columns in the background. And then finally, I stick with their same layout for the section at the bottom with the alternating left and right layouts for our roast types and coffee and community, but I'm making sure that they have a lot more white space between themselves and the elements that are contained within. All right, so next up is this personal design portfolio. Um, we're definitely going to resituate this and also integrate a contact form in the actual page, which we'll get to. All right, so I'm not quite a fan of having such a large sidebar style menu when you only have four links. So I'm going a more conventional route with the top menu instead while still maintaining the same colors and such. Now I'm keeping the interesting script headline to maintain the same character of the design, but I'm restructuring the layout here so that we can work in a contact form. If you have a portfolio, you need a contact form that's embedded on your site. Some people may be using devices that don't have an email client set up and that could be a lost client, which could be worth thousands of dollars. You have to make sure you make it as easy as possible for people to reach you. Now to make good use of the form while also providing people with an email and phone based alternative means of contact, I'm using a two column layout. We've designated the contact form as the primary form because it has so much space and it's situated to the left and the secondary means of contact are placed to the right. And finally, I experiment a bit more with the layout, but to add more character, I opt to just add a watermark based on the script type in the headline.
right, for this entry, basically a lot here is happening, right? I like the illustration to the right, I like the colors, but we are gonna work on the alignment and the type specifically, as we will see. Now, the first thing I do is resituate the logo, which contains a symbol, word mark, and a tagline. The original had had bad alignment between these three elements, so I fixed that. Next up, I recreate the top navigation, which is pretty standard, though their highlighted link color doesn't contrast quite enough. Now, the main area that's wrong is the headline, subheadline, and call to action. They're right aligned too close to the illustration, and it really throws off the flow of the layout. Now, for the headline, there's quite a bit of text, so I opt to separate that text in terms of style to reinforce visual hierarchy. And while these aren't huge changes, you'll see in the before and after that these small changes do make a noticeable difference to the quality of the layout. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that, you learned something. If you agree or disagree or have any other comments, let me know in the comment section down here on YouTube. And as always, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>